am Dracula. Who are you? Good book. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and welcome to another Cute Fuzzy Weasel Reads. This episode, we're going to continue to delve into Christian Chandler's Legacy. Part two of the Sonichu prequel deal thing. And I'm looking forward to it. Episode two is called Genesis of the Love Hogs. Did you know uh, Chris Chan just pepper sprayed a guy? He was pe he was spray painting uh, painting a bunch of stuff at a GameStop, and then he pepper sprayed an employee. And now he's in jail again. Man. Okay. So the first panel has the the thing again, and he's dying, I guess. Oh, since my transformation, my new, bigger body needs more food than before. And nuts and apples can't cut it. It's been over a week now, and I'm so hungry, ellipses. Not only that, ellipses, I feel so lonesome. Huh? Then he sees this, uh, this thing that's, uh, I... I don't know, it's some kind of mutant, and she's shoving an ear, she's shoving some kind of ear into her back? Or is that supposed to be her hair? No, that's an ear. She's shoving an ear in her back, and uh, he goes, Wow, ellipses. Then she hears him and starts running away. And he's like, where's she running off to? Trying to get away from you. Fifteen minutes later. So, she lives in that cabin, huh? I'm gonna go into that cabin and stab her repeatedly! <laughs> and with her trainer, maybe I... Maybe I... Uh, God damn it, the thing cut into it. Maybe... No, maybe I can get a bite as well! Did you have fun, Rosie? Ah, uh, so-so, the thing says to the other thing, and now she's got a mouth at the end of her tail. Well, come on in, I'm fixing some Brunswick stew! I love Brunswick stew. It's been a long fucking time since I had- I, I gotta make myself- what am I- what the fuck am I doing here? Why am I saying I have to go eat- I, I gotta go do something after this? Fucking hell. It's not that the comic itself is offensive to me, I have no idea, like, fucking anything about Sonic. It's just- it's fucking boring. Why am I doing this? Uh, whatever. Let's let's just let's just keep going. So the next picture, she's in a, I don't know, I don't know. It's a kitchen. Since my transformation last week, I have felt so lonesome because there are no other Pokemon like me to love. Ah, uh, relax, Rosie. What about that Dragon Eye David? He's so loyal. Ah, oh, come on, Cal David's too mean for me! I, you can have him, I don't want him! Why does everything have to have a, 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 a damn exclamation point? These aren't Golden Age comics from like the 50s or 60s, you can put a period here. Well, can't say I didn't try. Hey, for all we know, your love could be right around the corner. Half of my face is missing, by the way. Then there's a knock at the door, and she's transpositioned herself into another room. Or right at the door! I'll get that! Hello, may I, ellipses? And then, hey, I'm melting into the background. I am just a wild one who hasn't eaten for over a much week. Can you help? Oh, wait a minute. No, the ear has, who hasn't eaten much for over a week. Can you help me out? I don't believe it! A handsome Pokemon who is like me! I've got to learn more about him! No, 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 wait a minute. Let me, let me reread that the way it's established in the other panel. I don't believe it! A handsome Pokemon who I've is got to like learn me about him! Come in, she says, forcing her hand into his chest and rending him into the house with his sternum. Whoa! My lungs are being ripped out! Ah! So what's your name, and how come our arms have inflated like balloons? Ellipses. Sonichu! 
My name's Rose Chew, but you can call me anytime, Ellipses. Didn't I just finish reading a chapter of My Immortal? How about I call you Rosie? Then the world exploded into hearts. And then it reformed, and now the Rose Chew animal thing has mutated and has two backs and two heads that have merged into each other. This is so fucked up. Hey, Kel, we have a guest! That's my nickname! Boy, I thought I was the speedy one! Well, I think she's cute anyway! Heart! It's starting to really get annoyed by everything forever. Who is it, Rosie? My legs have fused into my crotch! Also, the stew's almost ready, and I ellipses. Kel, this is Sonichu! He wishes to break bread with us! Hello! Well, everything has an exclamation point! And I don't mean just certain things, I mean fucking everything in here has an exclamation point! Wow, another hedgehog Pokemon, a, and a male for Rose Jew! Ah! This must be fate! It's nice to meet you, Sonichu! Have a seat with Rosie! The stew's almost ready, Rosie! Entertain your new boyfriend! <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite color? What an exciting couple. Also, one of my arms has deflated while the other one has remained inflated. Um, ellipses, yellow? No, blue! One night, a few days later, ellipses. It sure is! It sure is what? Isn't the night sky so romantic? Oh, they're, they're out of the fucking or- oh, okay, uh, alright, okay, alright. Isn't the night sky so romantic? It sure is! I could just sit here and look for hours with you! Yeah, but then we'd fall asleep together! And I wouldn't have it any other way, Rosie Ellipsy's heart! Oh, Sonichu, I'm so happy with you! I la heart the you! I la heart for you, Rose Chew! As often as birds tweet, you are my lovely heart sweet! Oh god, that's an actual line? Oh! Sada Chew! And then their lips get torn off as black pillars of death shoot up into the sky. Oh, oh wait, there's another page. Uh, the moon comes crashing down onto the planet, burning the atmosphere as it approaches them. The intense heat of the moment melts their faces together before they're surely vaporized in horrible agony. Ta end. Oh, wait, no, not, not ta end. There's an advertisement. Sonichu is a Pokemon, so catch him on the Game Boy Advanced! <laughs> Sonichu. Anyway, if you have anything you want me to read, list it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other things that I've read. And as always, have a good day. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get this fucking pain out of my eyes. And so we washed him with acid. I thought it was funny. Ha 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 ha. The screams of dying children fill the air and fill my heart with so much joy. Sometimes I like to imagine that I'm rolling them with the steamroller over and over and over. It's a shame there are only so many orphans in the world. <laughs>